Here we are at St. Paul de Vence, looking down over the French Riviera. It is in this environment that I have prepared these art classes for you. They are intended as much for beginners as for those who wish to widen their knowledge of painting. Together we are going to explore the colorful world of painting, a world bathed in sunlight and the joy of living. With your cassette comes this booklet, which follows the development of the course. It contains a list of supplies, a complementary color chart, and in the center, the documents you need to accomplish your paintings. You will find all the supplies you need at a specialized art shop. Like a treasure chest, it is full of secret surprises that are going to reveal the wonders of artistic creation. René is installed so that the light comes from his left, while the art equipment is on his right. It is better to work in daylight, as it preserves a maximum of color quality. Be careful not to paint with the hand higher than your shoulder. Let us begin by getting to know our colors. Here a sheet of oil color paper has been cut to fit into the lid of the paint box. On it we will draw a rectangle for each color. Yellow cadmium is taken directly from the tube. With another paintbrush, add titanium white to give a lightened effect to the yellow. Most important is to write the name corresponding to the one on your tube of color. The names change according to the manufacturer. Here they are in French. Before changing color, it is essential to clean the paint brush thoroughly. First, I wipe off the surplus paint onto the cloth. Dip it into the turpentine and wipe it once again on the cloth, till there is no trace of yellow. Yellow ochre is opaque and an extremely stable color. Here the white enhances the rusty shade of burnt sienna. Here the cadmium red takes on a pink hue with the white. Alizarine crimson is a transparent color. By adding white, it brings out all the beauty of the color. Load the paintbrush with a sufficient amount of white. Add it to the raw umber so that the two components are well mixed together. And here we have a very lovely green, perfect for landscapes and plants. Sap green which cools when white is added to it. Emerald green, another transparent color, becomes turquoise with white. It is suitable for skies and seascapes. And now a magnificent cobalt blue, the most luminous of the blues. While here we have a darker blue, French ultramarine. It is good to have a permanent violet, as it is a difficult color to find by mixing. And finally, ivory black, a black black. To lighten the colors, I have chosen titanium white, as it is the most opaque of whites, and gives excellent covering. After four to five days of drying, I can fix the sheet onto the lid of the paint box. Now I am prepared to begin my first painting. 